In terms of stamina or endurance, there's not a lot we're going to do in the shop on a daily basis, but there's some things we can incorporate into our life. Number one is some form of cardiovascular exercise on a daily basis. The couple of things I meant to point out here is, number one, it should be a regular habit. It should be every day or every other day that we're engaging. The American uh, Council on Exercise recommends, I think the USDA and all that recommends, it's 150 minutes of heart rate increased cardiovascular exercise a week, that's 30 minutes a day that you got to get moving. I say this on the internet all the time in a lot of my posting, I have a healthy hair cutter uh, Facebook group that you can join and participate and share on, uh, but the bottom line is the m less you move, the sooner you die. That's true. The less you move, the sooner you're going to die. It's just that simple. Or I'm an early morning guy. I am up at 5 a.m. 5.30 if it's a spin class or I'm running. I'm an early, some people are not. I'm not. This is not me telling you to get up early. There are other people that go to the gym at 11 p.m. Great. Just go to the gym. At 11 p.m. I am asleep because I'm getting up at 5 o'clock in the morning. It's about finding where it fits in the day where it will work. Fitness trackers. That's a uh, Polar A360. That's the unit that I use. Fitness trackers are notoriously inaccurate. They're not accurate with the number of steps you really take, but they serve as a form of motivation. They serve as a baseline. If they're inaccurate, they're inaccurate the same way every day. People that wear fitness trackers statistically move more. So whatever brand you like or whatever you're using, people who use them move more. A lot of people stop wearing them because many times they found through surveys and studies that fitness trackers create an additional unnecessary form of stress. I gotta get my steps in. You know, it's bad enough. I got employees, team members, family members, spouses harassing me. Now I got this $99 device annoying me every day. That can be a level of stress that we don't need, but many people do benefit from the use of a fitness tracker. I'm a big believer, take the stairs. When it's an option, take the stairs. Question or comment? Yeah, we all got uh, Fitbits at the salon, and we do like the work week hustles, and we all kind of like challenge each other, and we're just like, oh, guys, we got to get different steps in. And An important piece of that comment is the notion of the idea of engaging and soliciting other people in your commitments to health and wellness. When people, recently I participated in something, it was called 2017, 2017 of everything. It was a challenge in which you were accepting the challenge in the month of January to do 2017 push-ups, 2017 dips, 2017 sit-ups, 2017 burpees, God we hate burpees, I love burpees, 2017 uh, pull-ups, and there was one last one in there, I don't remember what it was, but that comes out to 65 a day of each of those exercises every single day. On top of everything else I was doing in all my training, this was absolutely horrendous. I finished the other day, the person that sponsored this made a $500 donation in the name of everybody who did it to a charity that provides college education to the children of special forces soldiers killed in action. So it had a wonderful charity thing, but when I completed it and I submitted my data and every Monday I had to send my spreadsheet in and everything, and this damn near killed me, but I had a ball doing it. And the guy sent me back an email and said, congratulations, the donation's being made in your name. What was your favorite part of the program? And my answer was, my favorite part of the program was public accountability. Because I raised my hand and I said, I'm going to do this. And on January 3rd, I thought about quitting. On January 7th, I thought about quitting. On January 15th, I was pretty sure I was going to quit. <laughs> on January 22nd, I was getting close to the end and I said, there's no way I'm doing this. I finished it on like the 27th, right before we came out here for the show. But you know what? It wasn't easy. But the reason I didn't quit is because I had publicly, I've told everybody that I'm doing the triathlon in Chicago in August. Okay? I may change my mind in June. I don't have a choice. Too many people know that I'm doing the triathlon in August. It's going to happen, whether it kills me or not. So that public support, that team, that group, getting everybody in on it, goes a long way to help me.